in there! Oh. Alright, 44, this one's all you. We have a right 28, all black, all black. Ready? Go. A raid from underneath the garbage, and you just spray raid all over these cockroaches that are trying to blitz you, like Drew Brees does. And just real quick, you know, these sacks right here, just this sack against Nebraska. I mean, I know Sue here is he's getting a lot of ink, but this is about a nine hitch throw, isn't it? Yeah. What would what would you say about this if you were evaluating Colt McCoy? Get the ball out of my stinking hands. Football is a game of chess. Uh, move and counter move. Um, trying to outthink your opponent and basically move, think four moves, four to five moves ahead of your opponent on what your opponent's going to do. Now, with that said, um, it's the same way. Like I said, football is chess. It's the same way. Uh, the same kind of rules apply in chess, uh, in football as in chess. Uh, basically, I'm trying to bring more defenders than you have blockers, or I'm trying to keep more blockers in than you have um, people rushing the quarterback uh, to give the quarterback more time. And that segues into the video that I'm going to bring you all today. Uh, quarterback, you have about three to four seconds to live as a quarterback uh, before you have to get rid of the ball. And in this video, I'm going to show you backbreaker and how it realistically uh, simulates getting rid of the football as a quarterback. You can't sit back and hold on to the ball five, six, seven, or eight seconds. You might get uh, a couple players to where you're lucky like that, but most of the time you have to get rid of that ball quickly. Now, um, the first video is Peyton Manning, and uh, I have him, and let's see. I get sacked, uh, as you can see. Um, then I have Ben Roethlisberger, and just you can go back, rewind the video, and count how many seconds it is before I have to get rid of the ball. And there I rushed the pass, and uh, I had to pay for it because uh, it was an interception. But you have about three seconds to live, and we replicated this in um, street ball. Uh, where we counted the three Mississippi. Uh, if you had, if you didn't have enough people to have 11 on 11, you had one person, uh, one rusher, and he would count the three Mississippi. Then he was coming to get the quarterback, and that's basically um, how it is, you know, to replicate the time that you have or what little time you have as a quarterback to get rid of the ball. Now a lot of people have been complaining about the sacks and backbreaker, but it does realistically. Um, show how you have to get rid of the ball. You can only go through about one or two of your reads before you have to get rid of it. Now, if you have a great offensive line or maybe you uh, didn't get blitzed, then you have a little bit more time. But um, when it comes down to it, you have to make a quick assessment of the defense and what kind of coverage and get rid of the ball or you're going to get sacked. Now, that might frustrate people in the video game sense because you're used to seeing Madden uh, and the way Madden does things, uh, you, you're able to see the whole field, you're able to see the rushers coming, and that's just not the case in football. That's why I showed the video at the beginning um, through the perspective of the helmet. Uh, you don't see the entire field, you just see um, you know, a couple moves in front of you, and then next thing you know, somebody is in your face. And that's the same, that, I mean, that's you know, the same way it is in Backbreaker. You have a couple seconds before somebody's breathing down your neck. Now you can't sit up here and glitch and um, make people roll off and suction the people. Uh, backbreaker replicates real football, and that's what we're seeing. A lot of people, I don't really understand that. How could you like, um, you know, Madden, or say that you like real football, like Madden and dislike Backbreaker? If anything, that's you know, uh, bass backwards. So, you know, if you like real football, you should like backbreaker. And I'm not telling you that from the standpoint of telling you what you uh, should like, as in you better like it, things of that nature. I'm just saying that if you play football and you like, like football um, at its essence, its true essence, uh, then you should like backbreaker as, as a game because 
it's the closest thing that we've ever seen to um, being on the field and replicating what it means to be in live action. Now, as far as 2K8 and 2K5 goes, um, those games did simulation better than Madden. But Backbreaker does football uh, more so than simulation, does football better than any other game that we've ever seen um, in this generation. Now, if you just take a look at the plays that are going on in this video about how I have to get rid of the ball, or sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not, but you have to live and die with those ratios. You're not. We've uh, gotten used to Madden and being successful on every play or finding a way to um, cheat the AI and bias plays, so to speak, bias plays to where we can... Uh, take advantage of the computer system to whereas if you play this game within the confines of football and what football is supposed to be played like then you get realistic outcomes I played a game earlier today to where I showed you um, to where I only play on one player on defense and offense um, when it's third down and I don't get the conversion I punt the ball that's football that's what you're supposed to do. We've gotten accustomed to Madden and people who go forward on 4th and 26 and uh, come out in punt formations and then um, audible and throw a pass and things of that nature. That's not football. And in my opinion, you should be punished for playing football like that. Like if, for instance, um, if you were to call a pass play on... Um, fourth and 26 and you're not you know it's not a dire situation let's just say some people who play Madden go forward and on in the first quarter fourth and 26 that's not uh, football logic you would never do that in a real football game as a head coach or offensive coordinator or you would be fired probably after the game um, so I think that if you were to do that, the ratio of you succeeding should be lower. And I think Backbreaker, Backbreaker replicates that um, better than any other game we've seen. Sorry about that, but uh, rewind the footage and just take a look at Drew Brees in the pocket uh, when he gets sacked. And then on the passes that he completes, just pay attention to how much time he has in the pocket as an NFL quarterback. All right? Blue Underground.